Welcome to another Doctors Express Medical Minute. So this time of year, uh, deer ticks are a common occurrence. Uh, here in the Northeast, the concern of course is for Lyme disease. Uh, most tick bites uh, do not expose people to risk for Lyme disease. Only deer ticks do. And even most deer ticks don't have Lyme disease. But in this part of the country, a uh, significant percentage of deer ticks do. So how do you know if you've been bitten by a, a, a tick that you're at risk for Lyme disease? Well, first you want to know if it's a deer tick. They're By and large, they're much smaller than other types of uh, ticks. Secondly, the symptoms are vague. Uh, fatigue, malaise, joint aches and pains, a skin rash, what we call a target lesion or a bullseye rash, um, and low-grade fevers or chills. If you have any concern, of course, you need to see your physician. So in any event, if you get bit by a, a tick, you want to see how long has it been there? Has it been there one or two days? In which uh, case, you're probably not at great risk. If it's been there three or four days, there's definitely concern. Uh, you want to try to uh, take the tick out, bring it to your doctor's office, and you want to be on the lookout for symptoms like joint aches and pains, low-grade fever, chills, headaches, fatigue, that sort of thing. The, the final thing is, of course, you, you, you want to be uh, very aware of tick bites. Uh, every day, if you have kids, you're on vacation, you're in the woods, you want to look at their skin, go through their scalp, go through their hair, and make sure you don't, uh, if you find any ticks, of course, one, remove them, and two, if necessary, bring them in to be evaluated by your physician. This has been a Medical Minute from Doctors Express of Danbury, Connecticut. Like us on Facebook at Doctors Express Danbury and visit our website at DoctorsExpressDanbury.com.